In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make the browser full screen just using JavaScript. So most browsers like Chrome can activate a full screen mode so that you can put your web page into a state where you remove the address bar and all other parts of the user interface. So there's a special JavaScript function to do this called request full screen. And you have to do this on a particular element. So for example, the container that's got the cat image and the text on the page is simply in a div with an ID of container. So we can actually call this request full screen function on this element. And as you can see, we're put into a full screen mode, but the background of the body is removed and we just get a black background presented to us because we've requested a full screen on this particular container element. So let's exit the full screen and try that again, but we'll call the request full screen function on the overall document. So you can see this time we're calling the function on the document and specifically the document element, which is the root HTML of the document, so that we ensure that we load the whole page in the full screen mode. So you could probably link this up to a button or the result of some JavaScript function call if you want to trigger the full screen mode at a certain point. You'll also notice that the request full screen mode function actually returns a promise, so we can actually do some other actions once the full screen mode has been fully activated. So we can do this by simply adding something inside of the then function call, as in here where I've just logged out some text to the console. Of course, you might also want to exit full screen mode at some point, and there's a corresponding function that you can just call on the document, which unsurprisingly is just exit to full screen. And again, that also does return a promise. So if you want to do something after that's completed, you can just put something into the then chain as we did when we requested the full screen. So it's probably worth saying that different browsers may have different functions that you need to call, depending on their implementations of the web API. For example, in Firefox, you might need to prepend everything with Moz, M-O-Z, or for Microsoft products like Edge, you might have to use MS. So there you have just a quick way of entering and exiting full screen mode in your browser.